Hello, everyone. Jane A here from Your Way Weight Loss. Uh, we're just about to turn another corner and end another month. July like, is coming. Like, just like that. Like, to time. Half of the year. Half of the year is over. Crazy. Where, like, what is happening? I need to check in with my walking goal because I had set a goal to hit 2,000 and 21 kilometers walked in 2021. 2021. Okay. I see. I see what you're meaning. So if you're like almost halfway, if you have over 1000 kilometers, mm -hmm. interesting, that's a fun goal. It is fun. Um, okay. You guys, so we're talking about the fact that July is around the corner. What does that mean? It means it smells like summer. It means your body feels the warmth and your body is, your brain is thinking of vacations and it's, you know, your brain is, is going to play tricks on you this next month. And so we want to talk about that. And basically, I, I guess we want to be transparent about what we're, I guess, what our strategies are uh, for a month like July. I know that we've already had a podcast about summer, but right now we're here and, you know, we, we see how we're helping our members as well, like with our duos and, and our, the strategies and the content that we're putting out there with our members. And it's like, man, it's good stuff. <laughs> like we're using a lot of it every day. I know. You know, the thing about being successful, achieving any goal that you want is that there is no magic, but staying connected to content, to humans that are on the same path is setting you up for success. So it's not about, I'm going to lose 70 pounds this summer. It's about, I'm going to have the best summer ever. And whatever that means for you is what we want you, we want to help you to be able to achieve. Yes. Um, and it's like anything else, like you want a successful business, you're gonna have to stay connected to content um, from entrepreneurs that have like, you know, been there, done that, and, and they're they're still working on that. It's, I think that weight loss is very um, comparable to someone uh, that is successful at their job and like a business that they've created, because this is your journey. It's their own journey. And I think if they want to keep their success, and they want their business to still keep being successful, they can't just like be like, I have arrived. It's my efforts are over now. No, like if you want to keep the, your success in terms of even your marriage, it's like you could be happy one day and next year you're not because you haven't stayed connected to the people you now are. Um, and I think that in the life that you're now living, and I think that in order for you to keep any type of success, including weight loss, you will need to keep connected to that goal, that success. Absolutely. And if we look at, you know, we always look at people who have never struggled with their weight before, and we just kind of love to like look into their little minds. People that have not struggled with their weight or haven't yo-yo dieted their whole life, they don't just like take the summer off caring. Like they stay connected. They, they, maybe they gain a little bit of weight in the summer, but it like, they still stay connected to who they want to be despite it being July. Like that needs to remind us that just because it's July doesn't mean you automatically gain 20 pounds on your butt. Yeah, no, exactly. Cause every human out there is going through July and not every human is gaining 20 pounds. So I mean, you guys, you need to think about that as well. I, I've always looked at it in that light. Like I've always been that person that's like, well, not everyone. And I've always been that way as well. When I tried diets way back, I'd be like, well, why is, why are the healthy people not eating fish and broccoli for supper? Like, it's not like every single human out there that is a healthy weight is eating fish and broccoli for supper. So why Jose, the obese Jose needs to do that to lose weight. It was very strange to me. I, I love that. And yeah. it, this, it goes, it goes the same way too, is these healthy people are eating ice cream. You see them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're also moving their bodies. They're also like, there's, they're staying connected to who they want to be and they have strategies. They might not be as aware of them or they might not have to be as purposeful as we do to achieve those strategies, but they exist. Oh yeah, they do. Like I have guys, I have a healthy husband who has never struggled with his weight and because of, uh, of the person that I am. And I notice all of the things and I, I hear the language he uses and I see him, uh, adjusting his day. If he ends up going somewhere where he has a heavier lunch, like I see it though. No, I don't, I don't comment on it. I, I don't, but I'm like, and there it is. 
Like I see him say things like, oh, I'm not going to have a, um, he usually eats like a, a dip bar after supper at my dad's. It's always like their thing after supper. And he was like, oh no, we're probably going to go for an ice cream. So, you know, he, he like skipped it, like naturally did that. He was like, I can't have both because I'm trying to lose weight. Like, he's just like, he knows what's reasonable. He's not going to have like a dessert before a dessert, you know? Um, and then last night, um, he, we, so we went to my brother's house and they had these like chips and they were delicious. And Jeff was like, oh man, I would love for you to buy those for our home. I'm like, okay, cool. Like that's not something that I would ever uh, get into or, or care about to have that in our pantry. So last night I reminded him that I purchased them because he was like okay. looking for a snack at 10 PM. And then he said, he's like, I heard him say, okay, lo Jeff, that's a fini lo. Like, cause he couldn't, like, he was like picking and picking and he had the whole bag and he did like close the bag. And I said, I'm going upstairs to go grab brogies and roasted red pepper dip because I wanted brogies and roasted red pepper dip at 10 PM. I'm like, do you want me to bring the bag upstairs? Cause it was sitting beside him and I saw him open it up again okay, and close it. And he's like, yes, bring it. So like, see, like they're not unicorns and they're not like they also like need to like remind themselves yeah. of okay like that's not reasonable you can't finish the whole bag like it's a big family size chip bag like, um, like, everyone needs the whole thing everyone needs to know about these chips what are these chips okay they're called deep uh, brothers deep blue they're organic something something they're like uh like a purpley blue they just taste really delicious they're are like, they like really nacho salty. chips Yes. They're like Tostitos okay. chips. Yes. I know what they are. You know that they are awesome. Yes. Anyway, so my brother had them at his house and he took them out uh, yesterday when we hang out with, we hung out with them um, Saturday afternoon. He also took out this uh, lobster dip that's made in Nova Scotia. Um, anyways, it's like this pre-made uh, deliciousness dip. Là. Um, so, I mean, the two together, that was quite the combo on Saturday afternoon. That was yummy. Um, but yeah, Jeff, and that's another thing. Watch Jeff did not try the dip. He just ate the chips. He doesn't like he's, and he wasn't going to waste like for him. It's like, it's like, I'm uh, not really a big fan of dip, you know? So, and I ate half the dip with my brother, which the whole container was 700 calories. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I watched day not eat none of that. You know what I mean? So like, I, that's when I'm like, here we are, like, she's not healthy and looks like that because she can eat whatever she wants like no she grabbed zero of the things she did not eat any of it and she didn't say anything maybe she didn't want any maybe she wasn't hungry i didn't yeah. ask her um and so i think she might have grabbed a couple of chips while they were there but that's it she just like sat in her corner and and we were watching a show like it wasn't no big deal you know so kind of no everyone drama. did their own thing and then me and my brother we just like murdered that dip <laughs> sounds <laughs> yummy it was really good it was actually delicious um your, your dip is your jam as well like dip is like dip is my thing yeah i, I didn't thing. even think twice alicia like okay. i did not think twice like you're gonna bring dip that has mayo and like that is my thing you know like you're gonna mm -hmm. offer dip to me that's that's good stuff to me okay. um and they had offered other things that are uh, labeled not good food that i would could have been like oh it's saturday but i said no because i was like yeah. i don't want that but he came out with that dip and those chips i was in it and it yes, was please. delicious yeah awesome what are we even talk talking about? Okay, so um, okay, we wanted to talk about the fact that it's July, so meaning it smells like summer. So I think that the biggest part here that you need to realize, guys, is that your brain is going to be your um, either your biggest fan or your worst enemy this month. So we're hoping that you recognize the importance of your thoughts. Yes. The drama. Yes. yes. The thoughts, the drama, you know, your routines and systems that you have in place that in the past. So like I, you know, some people think they have to go for ice cream three times a week in July. And you obviously can if, if that's what you want, but know that you don't have to do anything. Know that you could choose a small that you, when you went, um, you know, just being aware of the fact that ice cream is not bad that you are not doing anything wrong if you eat ice cream. It's just ice cream. It's just a choice. If we yeah. really start looking at food, especially in the summer, for is it nutrient dense or is it nutrient deficient? Is it calorie dense or is it calorie sparse? And, and just look at it from that lens. I think you're setting yourself up for success.
I completely agree. I think that's our biggest message when it comes to summer. It's that there you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. So don't think you should be eating a strawberry shortcake because it's summer. Maybe you don't care for strawberry shortcake and you would rather have more beer. You know, I just feel like there's that that those traditions that we've put in like society and culture and whatever, it's like you have to eat chips and dips and maybe you don't even like chip and dip and chips and dip, but you'd like more beer. I just feel again, like just like my story, I don't know if I've said this on a podcast. I feel like I shared it at a meeting, but like my story with my salad at the restaurant and the ch- and her asking me if I wanted chicken on top. And I was like, did I say this in a podcast? I don't mm, think so. I can't so remember. I just this- tell it. Okay. So I went at a restaurant and I ordered the salad as the salad is like an appetizer, but you can like, or add shrimp or whatever. And, um, obviously think of shrimp. Oh, labeled as good chicken labeled as good. Like it's good stuff, right? Salad labeled as good bread labeled as bad butter labeled as bad. Right. And when she asked me, do you want chicken? There was that internal battle of like, I should, because it's labeled good. You know what I mean? I should add chicken to my salad. Why not? Just like put it on, you know? But then what you also need to think about is, is that something that you really want right now with like, I really wanted to also um, have a good, I didn't want my supper to be calorie dense, to be honest. I didn't want to end up eating 1200 calories at a restaurant in salad and chicken. Does that make sense? Like I just yeah. like, I was like, oh. So I was like, you know what? No, do you guys have bread here? And she's like, yes, I'm going to be bringing it out soon. And I was like, perfect. I would rather, and I think that I've like shared this a lot lately. I'm more of a carb. I'm a carby and not a proteiny. I love carbs. I I do. I feel very good with carbs. I I really do enjoy carbs more than like carbs are more worth it to me than protein. Now, do I eat a lot of protein? You know that I do, you guys. But what's the word? A lot. That's so relative as well. Like, do I eat the protein amount that makes me happy? The answer is yes. You know, Perfect. do I feel fulfilled in my day? Yes. Do I feel hungry? No. You know. Yeah. Um. But it's the labeling, and so I could have put chicken on it, which is throwing on 300 calories yeah. that I don't really care for. Yeah. And it's probably like frozen, unfrozen yeah. chicken. Now. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. You know? And so I'm like, no, I'm going to just eat more butter, bu- butter and bread. Like that's worth it to me. So I like had this amazing supper with tons of, I think I'm the one that ate the most uh, bread for sure at the table. Um, but it was like guilt-free. I was like, oh, well I didn't, you know, I'm just having this light salad. Basically my supper is bread and it's, yeah amazing. And there's no, you should have chicken because there's protein. No, like I, I, maybe I don't want chicken right now. And using that, um, message and that lesson in July, when there's a lot of things you want to spend your budget on, like ice cream and hot dogs and beer and chips and dip, and just really thinking about rewriting the rules a little bit. And guys, if you're at a barbecue and you don't even really like hamburgers and hot dogs and you're looking, you're like crushing hard on the dessert area, eat dessert for supper. Yeah, that's my thing. And I've said this to Alicia, like Alicia uh, hosts this amazing party. I mean, last year, um, well, actually last year we, we rocked it on New Brunswick, uh-huh. like we, we could have parties in the summer. Um, but anyways, um, she rocks this party where it's like burgers and whatever, and everyone kind of brings their own thing. Well, I remember there was one summer where I just ate dip because I love dip. Like as we said at the beginning, I love dip and nacho chips. I love that. Um, and it has to be a certain kind though. Like I'm kind of like, it, I'm not going to spend time eating the Sobeys, um, pizza dip, but yes. I'll eat your lobster that you did at like lobster dip that you did at home or like yeah. a good, like a spinach dip. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Those are my mm-hmm. types of things. Okay. Um, and I'll probably skip the burger and whatever, and I'll just have, and I'll go right to the dessert. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that like that has really helped me be me in the past year because like once we really got into, I really wanted to model the whole calorie deficit, calorie maintenance thing. Yeah. I took that job to heart. <laughs> it's Seriously. like me and the cocktail recipes. I'm really taking it serious. You really are, and the people love you for it. But um, guys, whew. I practice that hard of like, okay, does it really not matter how much sugar I eat? No? Does it really not matter how much carbs I eat? If I am within whatever, if I create a system that allows me to uh, not overconsume in calories, am I really going to stay looking like this and, and look the same? Because I have, you know, thought that it needed to be low in sugar. I have yeah. thought that I needed to be low in carbs, you guys. Like I've done that as well. And then I'm like, I'm tired of this life. Like I don't want that. Like according to science, 
I just need to not, you know, over consuming my calories and I, I, and I should be able to stay within my range. And there it is. I know me eating, me eating ice cream for my afternoon snack. And then, and then it's so powerful. It just gives you yeah. the choice. And guys, what we're promoting right now isn't for you to just eat a bunch of crap all the time. That is zero what we're promoting. And we're talking about like the amount of times that you come and have a party and the number of times that you eat ice cream for a snack are very few and far between. Right. But, but what we are promoting is that you make the choice that you want to make <sighs> without the noise, without the drama. That's what we want for you. That's exactly what I was going to say is that what we do at Your Weight Loss is we work on your drama and your noise. And so we know exactly where it comes from. The drama and the noise comes from feeling guilty about a choice, yep. feeling stuck, feeling like you have to do something. So when we talk the way we talk about, well, skip the chicken and go for the bread, that's not every day. I, this is not something, you know, and also like most of the time I do have chicken in my salad, just that one particular restaurant. I'm like, Meh. there's this fresh an amazing butter that is being offered to me right now. And that's my fave. Like I love, you know how I love bread. Yeah. Bread and yeah. butter. Are like, je, je viens de Jagan. like I've come from a small, small village and bread and butter is what I grew up on guys. Um, but you know, mm. like I just feel like, whereas Alicia grew up on duck fratiti a la fru 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 caviar. And I grew up on pogo sticks and sunny delight. Oh my gosh. Um, but you guys, like, I think it, that also makes a difference though of what is worth it and not. So Alicia can't look at me and be like, oh, that's not worth it to you because we did not grow up, grew, grew up liking the same things. Like what she thinks is worth it to her. I'm like, nah, like I would totally skip all of that. So there's that piece to, again, noise and drama yep. of you not being yourself. Yeah. And you thinking you should be a certain way. And no wonder you're exhausted. Like there's yeah. only so much mental energy and time that we can spend on this part of our life. So, you know, there's so much noise coming from the outside world that it's important that you shut the noise and you really start to make choices that are true to yourself. And once you, you know, just start doing it and then you start seeing that nothing bad happened, then you start seeing that you can balance these things. Then you start seeing that you're not spiraling because of one small choice. That in itself, that small thing is huge. Yeah. I mean, how many people listening to this podcast have spiraled because they ate one bad thing? Yeah. Like, like I, I, I bet you pretty much everybody. Yeah. And, and I think <laughs> that that's where our message is different. Like, I think that people, we sit here and our main focus at Your Weight Loss is to get people to say to us, you have helped me create a better relationship with food. Yes. You have helped shut so much noise in my head and drama. Therefore, that's why I've lost weight. I mean, we are a weight loss program. People do lose weight on Your Weight Loss. That's why they're here. But our approach is different. Yeah. And so we don't go and attack your freaking meal plan. We attack that that beautiful brain of yours that's playing tricks on you and that's not allowing you success. Your brain is the one not allowing you success. Nothing yes. else. Not your body, your body's not working against you. To, um, and thinking of that as well, thinking of July, thinking of being on vacation. A lot of people go on vacation in July, right? And thinking of our mind. What is our mind around vacation time? Oh my gosh, if I don't give her, I'm going to feel deprived. Or, oh my gosh, I'm going on vacation. This is going to derail all my progress. And all of those thoughts are limiting beliefs that you have around what vacation needs to look like for you to be happy and what, you know, the drama behind it. So that's another piece of that we're working on in our membership is how to do vacation. Uh, yes. Our members are very much ready, quote unquote, for vacation, for whatever, th just choosing. Can't we have a conversation before and you make sure that you're choosing whatever you want on vacation? So whether it's, I just want to let go and fully enjoy, or it's, I want to make sure that I feel very proud and in control. Everyone has like, everyone has their own goals. Um, and I think that at the end, recognizing that you're fully in charge of whatever that means for you is very freeing. I, I do think noise. that most people do not want to end their vacation feeling absolutely stuffed all the time. Yeah, like, I agree. Like I think people want freedom on vacation yeah. with their yeah. choices. Yeah. However, they also don't want to feel like crap. 
I know what you mean. And there's that piece that, of limiting belief that people don't think those two things can coexist. Exactly. Yeah. And once you realize that they can coexist, again, freedom. Yeah. Like summer freedom. and vacations, it really um, makes, it reminds me of weekends. So like as in, it's basically a weekend all the time. Um, yeah. And so if your mindset and if your beliefs and your traditions and your thoughts on weekends are pretty bad. Um, you need to watch out for this summer. And I do believe that th these are the people that do struggle the most in summer to stay connected or whatever. These are the people that still have a lot of work to do on their weekend mentality. Um, and so when we have members leash that are like, I'm going to take a break for the summer. These are usually the members that I see struggling on weekends and still have that diet mentality. There's nothing wrong with how they eat or what they do. It's just like they have so much work to do on their mindset. I know they're disconnecting from any of our topics and our content, and they're still seeing your weight loss as this diet that they join from September to whenever, um, and then January to whenever, and that's it. They, they keep that cycle going. So please know that our approach is very much different, and you need to stay connected during those times. And it's not connected to weight loss. It's connected to who you said you wanted to be. That's Bam. it. Bam. And yeah. it's nice to be reminded of who you said you wanted to be. And there is nothing more bucket filling than when you show up in an authentic way for yourself in the person that you want to be. Like that's when you guys find true happiness. Yeah. And can't we just stop quitting and start adjusting? Oh, like, can't we just stop doing that? Like, what are you doing right now? Why are you quitting? You're quitting because it's going to be different. You're quitting right now because the routine is going to be different. I hear it all the time. And I I'm know. like, why are you quitting? Why can't you just adjust? Adjusting is a skill that a healthy person has and needs in order to keep the, like, you can't just quit your job when it gets hard. You have to adjust. You maybe take a sick day more when it's, it's a stressful time. Like there's just adjusting that needs to happen, but you don't just quit. Okay. You guys. So, um, hopefully I know that tons of our members are listening to this and, and you guys, you just, what are, what do we do in the summer? Do we quit? No. Do we do the exact same thing as January? Absolutely not. Like our July is different than January, you guys. So January is a very much a weight loss moment in many people's lives. Like just like they're very motivated and what they do as a system is very different than like what I'm going to, how I'm going to live my life in, in July is not the same as January, you guys, but am I quitting? No, no I'm adjusting. You're not adjusting giving up. Heat. It's just, it's just not giving up like that, yes. you know, that, and, and like you said, the heat, like, okay, so people are hot. They maybe don't want to move their body. They don't want to cook. Adjust. 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 You can find meals that you can make that you don't have to cook. You can use your barbecue. Yes. You can walk in the morning. You can walk at night. You can not walk at all. Like there's adjust. Adjust. Adjust your goals maybe for this period of time. You Love guys. It. Yes. It's like also like pregnancy. Pregnancy is hard, you guys. And, and being on a health journey when you're pregnant is hard, but you don't have to quit the whole thing. You adjust. Now you're growing a human. Your goals are different. It looks different. It feels different. But I do think you have to stay connected. It's like being married before kids, after kids. You don't just quit because it gets different. You adjust because it's different. I was a great example, actually. And you know what? To stay happily married, you have to continue to adjust. Like, you yes. know, eventually we'll get to a point where our kids don't need us. And then we have all yes. this time alone with our husbands. We will need to adjust. Yeah. You have to adjust conversations. Like, what do we want right now? Like we're different humans as well. Like when we met our husbands, we were like 17. Yeah. Now we're, one day we'll be 57. You know, we're not the same people. So we need to adjust what makes us happy at that time. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So basically we're trying to tell you that July um, is a time to work on your mindset and to stay connected to content. That's that it. Is it's not a time to eat fruit and not eat ice cream. No. It's a time to adjust. It is yeah. time to not give up and disconnect from who you said you want to be. This is an opportunity to practice showing up. Like, Because guys, next summer is coming too. Like yeah. if you want to be a healthy person, you are going to need to figure out how to live that life in July and August as well. And Absolutely. quitting is not going to get you there. You got to practice it. You got to try it. You got to adjust it. 
Yeah. And I'm sorry, you signed, like, this is what you signed up on. Like, you can't just like give up on the months. You don't feel like it. Like I signed up, like, uh, this is when I chose to be a parent. Like I signed up for the baby stage and the potty training and the, this, like, I can't just like give up. I don't like this part. Like, it's just what it is. Like you signed up for the good and the bad when you said, and the bad, you know what I mean? Like just when you're overweight, you signed up for the good and the bad of that. Well, yeah. when you chose to want to change your life and, and be in control and, and maybe look and feel differently and have different opportunities and experiences, there are parts of that that aren't as fun, let's just say, but at the same time, we make it fun. Like when you think about like living, we live our best lives though, and we have been able to lose 70 pounds each and maintain it off and live amazing summers, you guys. So change those limiting beliefs, please. I mean, and that's what, what it motivates me so often to, to share our message because I see people and I'm like, you don't have to live like that. Like you, I get to live in such a beautiful way. I get to be comfortable in my own body. I get to yeah. spend time with my friends. I get to, I have an amazing relationship with food. I don't fear food. Like, oh my yeah. gosh, all of those things. Like I want that for everyone. Everyone deserves that. Yeah. I truly believe that. And I, I know that society's overweight because we're all over consuming, right? We're all just over consuming in calories. But I think that people aren't um, putting enough time recognizing that we're all over consuming because of the mindset that all of us have and all of the drama. So if we could just focus on that piece, we don't have to label food and there's no one way to lose the weight or to stop over consuming. The, I think a big part of the overconsumption by society right now is the drama, the labeling, the guilt, the shame. I think that is creating more damage than your friggin' fry clam. No. Agreed. Okay. I, I totally agree. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So um, find us everywhere. You guys can always join Your Weight Loss as a member under yourweightrsupport.com. Like this podcast, share it, tag us. We friggin' love when you guys do that. Find us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube under Your Way Weight Loss. Other than that, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.